Hey everyone, uh, my name is Tony Ward. I'm a front-end developer at Toyota Connected, and today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about our shared component library. So Toyota Connected is responsible for creating solutions for the auto industry using data-driven innovations. One of the areas my team is currently working in is car and ride sharing. At TC, we chose Ember as our framework for all front-end projects. And we knew right away uh, when we started that we needed an add-on to help us develop very quickly. So we actually took a look at the Toyota production system, or TPS. And TPS is all about producing vehicles efficiently while maintaining high quality. And TPS says you should continually try to eliminate three things. Muda, which is waste. Mura, which are inconsistencies. And Muri, which are excessive demands, both on people and on systems. And this doesn't just apply to manufacturing cars. You can apply this to software as well. So we created an add-on called Loom. And the name actually comes from a little bit of Toyota history. So before getting into the auto industry, Mr. Toyota actually patented, created, and sold automatic looms. So we thought it'd be cool to tie some of that history into our add-on. Uh, but Loom consists of our most commonly used web components, template helpers, SAS functions, and SAS mixins. And one unique thing that I really enjoy is that uh, our designers actually created these same components as symbols in Sketch. So what that means is as a designer is working on an experience um, or a dev is working on implementing those designs, we're all kind of pulling from the same toolbox. So I have a couple of really small examples here just due to time uh, of what we have in Loom. But here is a form item block component. And you can see uh, you can provide a flow, either column or row, which is the content flow. In this case, it's a column, as well as a label. And since it's a block component, uh, we, the yielded content can be anything, right? Uh, for email and password here, it's an input. And this component really helps us build form fields very, very quickly and efficiently. Second component is just an input toggle. So uh, this is basically just a styled checkbox, right? Uh, the only difference is that it takes an action that is called whenever the toggle is clicked, that action will be called. And everything else that you would expect from a checkbox is exposed on this input toggle as well. And then we have this async button. And we allow you to provide a theme, which is the color of the button, which is based on the color palette that you provide. And it takes an action, uh, which can either be just a regular action or an Ember concurrency task. And when that Ember concurrency task or action is running, it displays the pending text that you provide. And by default, we show a spinner. However, you can also override that. So hopefully, those brief examples uh, allow you to see some advantages of using a shared component library. Um, but some other ones are here. Uh, the really big one, at least for me, I'm really into testing. So Having really well-tested components is a big plus. So as somebody uses Loom, they can be confident in the components that they're using, not only that they work well, but also that they'll look great across all browsers. Another advantage for us is shared language and tools between design and development. So it helps uh, bridge some communication gaps uh, between designers and developers. Another big one for us is shared translations. So we're a global company, and as more Toyota entities start using this add-on and contributing some translations back, um, everybody using that add-on benefits from those translations as well. A shared add-on is really scalable, so as we grow our own team, or as I mentioned just a second ago, as other Toyota entities start using this add-on, 
um, you know, we'll have a good path to support them. Uh, we treat it just like an open source project. And then lastly, uh, having a shared add-on promotes efficiency, consistency, and quality, which ultimately allows us to eliminate Muda, Mira, and Miri. And that's all that I had. If you want to reach out to me, there you can.